Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I'd like to interrupt your conversation, if I may, because tonight we are celebrating award winners, and we'd like to start presenting awards. My name is Adam Carney Cohen, and I will be introducing tonight's award winners. The New Israel Fund, as many of you know, works with a very wide range of excellent organizations in Israel. Every year, we invite three outstanding individuals to receive an award to thank them for their commitment to strengthening Israeli society. Just to pick up on something that Yuval mentioned in his speech that his father had said, we have lost many excellent people from Israeli life over the years, many who are no longer with us. But today there are still many dedicated individuals who do incredible work, and three of them are with us tonight. The three award winners that we are presenting to you tonight are an incredible trio, as you will see. They are diverse in their backgrounds, but all share an equally deep commitment to celebrating and strengthening the shared society that New Israel Fund believes in so passionately. Our first award winner has brought tire tireless dedication to combating racism and advancing dialogue through the organization that he chairs, Tag Meir. As you heard from Yuval Rabin, he has continued the legacy of Itzhak Rabin and seeks to bring reconciliation between all of Israel's citizens and is at the forefront today of achieving that. Please may I invite to the stage now Gadi Gvaryahu and to present his award, Jane Grabina. Thank you, everyone. I would like to preface my remarks by thanking the New Israel Fund of Britain for honoring me with the Human Rights Award. I'm here receiving the generous award but it, it really belongs to the entire Tagmei form. Our form includes 49 organizations from the full range of Israeli society who have been struggling for close to four years against hate crime, <clears throat> prejudice, and prize attack attacks, primarily those that are committed in the name of Judaism and under its auspices. I would like to thank the thousands of uh, activists who have taken part in the previous, in the various LITEG, Tag Meir activities. It's due to them that our form and our form vision have entered the public awareness. A few days ago, we organized a study session in memory of Richard Lakin. May he rest in peace. Richard was murdered by a terrorist in his neighborhood of Armon Hanatziv in Jerusalem. He was a well-known human rights activist who participated in many of the Tag Meir activists all over Israel, crying out against the burning of mosques and monasteries, uprooting of olive trees, 
burning of cars, and of course, within the past year, against the murder of Muhammad Abu Khdir and the Dawabsha family in Duma village. Five years old, Ahmad Dawabsha is the sole survivor of the fire that destroyed his entire family. In his home in Duma village, we visit him and his devoted grandfather, Hussein Dawabsha, regularly. Not far from him lies Orel, the soldier who was critically injured in the terror attack near Kibbutz Gan Shmuel, not far from Khadera. We just heard this morning that Orel recovered, recovered and start speaking. We visit Orel and her parents often. The harsh Israeli reality in which Jewish and Arab victims of terror lie in the same hospitals and are treated by Jewish and Arab physicians while the horrible acts of terror and hate continue is sadly our Israel of fall 2015. We cannot give up. We must continue our work in schools, youth movements, and army preparatory programs in, light, in the light against racism, preaching for the life of mutual understanding and respect, why creating positive opportunities for Jews and Arabs to come together as often as possible. Evil extremists have been working overtime during these past weeks to bring about a bloodbath in the Holy Land. In spite of the horrible event of recent weeks, we, the members of the Tag Meir coalition, promise five-year-old Ahmad or El, the young soldier, the Hankin family, the Hankin children, as well as the other victims of this time of the terror, of terror, to do all we can to encourage and to lead to wear moderation and come while building a bridge towards understanding and reconciliation. And most important of all, not to despair. As the word of David the Psalmist, Bakesh, Shalom, Verodfehu. Seek peace and pursue, and chase after it. Bakesh, Shalom, Verodfehu. Thank you very much.